Are you ready, uh, Olivia? Is it recording? And yes, sir. Okay, I guess uh, I like to, I don't have a oh, one thing I forgot. No, I have a gavel. Hmm, I got this little <laughs> dance bar. I'd like to call this uh, meeting of the Board of Supervisors public hearing for April 6, 2020, in King William County. All being uh, from everybody's homes and some of us from the courthouse. So, Ms. Uh, Lawrence, could you call the roll, please? Mr. Miskowski? Here. Mr. Hodges? Here. Mr. Garber? Here. Mr. Morin? Here. Mr. Greenwood? Here. Okay. Um, next thing on the agenda, we have the review and the adoption of the meeting agenda. Any questions, additions? I'll move adoption, Mr. Chairman. A second. I have a motion made and properly seconded. Do I have any uh, comments? Okay, Ms. Lawrence. Mr. Hodges. Aye. Mr. Garber. Aye. Mr. Morin. Aye. Mr. Muskowski. Aye. Mr. Greenwood. Aye. Uh, Next thing on the agenda, we have our moment of silence and when we really need it right now. And then right after that, we'll have followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I found a flag. We also have one in the boardroom. So if we could have a brief moment of silence and then go into the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag, the flag. flag. Of the United States of, of America. United States of America. To the republic, republic for which it stands. Which it stands. One, one nation, nation, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I guess that's the best we could do. <laughs> it was all over. The place. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> hey, next item on the agenda, we have uh, the public hearing for revised proposed budget fiscal year 2021. And I want like maybe a few moments if Ms. Tassinari could briefly show the uh, differences from what was presented a few weeks back and then we'll move into the public hearing. Yes, sir. Uh, as you're aware, we started uh, the budget process for fiscal year 2021 in November. And because of the public hearings, we had to go ahead and publish our uh, recommended budget back in earlier part of March. Uh, as you're aware, with COVID-19 uh, impacting our economy and our citizens, we made the decision to go ahead and revise the budget before it came back to the board for approval. So our original budget was initially at 27.182 million. Uh, we have revised the budget down to 20, 25,853,000. The way that we projected that number is we went and we looked at our sales taxes and um, some of our other categories like BPOL and meals tax, um, uh, communication sales tax and realized that we were going to see a downturn in those revenues um, probably in this fiscal year but also most definitely for 21. At the same time um, I went back and reviewed the real property because as you're aware we're going to have a reassessment that will take effect in January of 2021 and you know as prior um, presentations have shown our FY 2021 budget will be half of the year collected at the 2014 assessed rate at the 86 cents per 100, which is no change from this current year or previous year. And half of the FY21 is going to be at the new assessed rate of 21. And instead of um, trying to retain extra, I reduced it to that 1% or 73 cents per 100. Um, 
you know, as code states that unless we hold a public hearing, we have to reduce um, the revenue that we collect off of a reassessment to 1% over the prior year. And so that is what I have done in this new revised budget. Uh, so as not to impact the citizens. Um, so I hope that um, I have prepared a conservative budget uh, and one that we will be able to live with, but I will um, take the board's recommendations um, into um, whatever direction that you need us to. All right, thank you. Any of the board members have any questions before we go into public hearing? No, I just had one question. We have a we don't have a list because of the way we're set up, do we? You know how we normally do a a list. Okay, I just wonder. Olivia might, but I don't know. Um, I don't have a preset list. Um, I only have the two submissions that were by email, um, and they were both for this proposed budget. One was by Mr. Bob Shannon of the third district, and one by Mr. Robert Bruce, also of the third district. Mm -hmm. They were both received by email today, and um, they will be put in the minutes for record. Thank you. Anybody else? If anyone, um, if you would like to open the public hearing portion, um, Mr. Greenwood, I believe there is a function in this application for people to open the chat box or raise their hand and I can unmute them and they can um, comment. Okay, I will uh, call this public hearing to order for the revised proposed budget fiscal year 2021. Don't don't forget to get them to identify themselves. Oh, oh right, right, right. Uh, the um, uh, speakers have uh, three minutes if you're an individual. You have five minutes if you're with a group uh, to speak. Uh, please state your name uh, so, because we don't know. Uh, we can't see you or tell you are on the telephone. If you could state your name and your address, please. Thank you. Did the chat box open? Um, I'm not seeing anyone yet. I see a lot of names on here, but I don't know if anyone wants to speak or not. I'm not seeing anyone. <clears throat> Stephen, what you're looking at is that uh, people who have, they are physically active at this point and they're just listening? That's what I don't know. I don't know how this system works. I mean, there's some of us, one mm -hmm. says Vicky's Notes, one says E.M. Holter, one says Natasha, one says a citizen. I don't know if they're mm -hmm. people or if they're... If they're yeah, they're people. all people that are currently listening or watching. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think we could hear you, Bill. I know, I, I forgot to unmute. Uh, <laughs> I'm seeing 12 participants, does that include all of us? Yes. Okay. Yeah. If I may, Olivia, I think the one citizen has her own side muted. If she can hear me, she has her own side. She's muted on her end. Right. I see two people that are muted, too. E.M. Holder and Natasha. Mm -hmm. That's because they don't wish to speak. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, should we... Move on. I don't like you said. This is uncharted territory. I don't know what I believe, else. I believe I'd repeat everything just one time. Just because of the area we're in, just like you said, we've never went down this road, but a little bit. 
Okay. Uh, hopefully, people, if you're listening, if you're called in to the chat room, if you're online somehow, if you could uh, see if you have uh, um, somehow get hold of us, if you want to speak, uh, say something or try to unmute your mics. And uh, as uh, always, uh, citizens, three minutes to speak or five minutes if you're a group. I don't think so. Oh, we can't ask mm -hmm. okay. I mean, I chatted to him, but yeah. he didn't respond. Okay. No, we don't see anybody um, reaching out to uh, make any kind of comments or to uh, chat. Hmm. And I guess, can we, I mean, if public comment is over, I mean, once it, once the public hearing is over, can we still accept things maybe by email questions or things after this or yeah, that'd be fine. since this is such an unusual circumstance um, I think that would be fine y'all need to have as much information presented to you you know when it comes to deliberation and, and I think we've always accepted stuff all the way up until the vote right so like if people are listening to this if you're if you play it back if you were listening to it and can't get hold of us uh, send us an email to the county administrator or the county clerk and uh or to one of us and we'll make sure that we get it passed out to everyone before our uh budget to meeting on the friday um and I, I guess it's not this week next week next friday right then, the 17th uh try to incorporate or take into consideration anything that you may have for us to look at. I guess seeing no one else right now, I guess we'll close this particular public hearing. Um, do we have to take a vote on this or is this just public hearing? We don't, there's no vote on this, is it? No, no vote. Okay. Though. Next item, we have public hearing on the proposed tax levies for calendar year 2020. Uh, same restrictions, public comments are limited to three minutes per individual, five minutes per group. Uh, please state your name and your address um, when you wish to speak. Uh, open the public hearing for the proposed tax levies. I don't guess we've gotten anybody else sign on or say anything. We still we still have the same numbers. I see twelve participants, including yeah. us. No one is stepping up yet. No. Okay, I guess we'll do the same thing. We'll make the uh, same thing if people are watching this or if you're seeing this after the fact. Uh, if you have questions or comments that you wish the board to consider, email them to the county administrator or the uh, county clerk and uh, we will try to get them all incorporated by uh, prints or emails for the whole board to see by our Friday the 17th budget work session. Uh, Seeing no one that we can tell, uh, I guess I'll close the public hearing for the proposed tax levies. What did we just have pop up? Vicky's note nine? Right, she's been there, but I don't know who it is. It says the camera. I have no idea. Hey there, Vicki. I think we can finally hear you. Yeah, I hear something. It's all the way down. She's not down here. She's right here. 
Vicki, did you have a comment? No, not at this time. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I guess that's all we have. Do I have a motion? Wow. <laughs> so move, Mr. Chair, Bill Hodges. Okay, we have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I'll second it. Stuart Garber. Okay, we look so we have two. A uh, motion made and properly okay. seconded to adjourn. Ms. Lawrence, could you call roll? Mr. Garber? Aye. Mr. Morin? Aye. Mr. Muskowski? Aye. Mr. Hodges? Aye. Mr. Greenwood? Aye. Uh, meeting adjourned. Thanks everybody for coming. Uh, all right. Bye. Yeah, stay safe everyone. Yeah, I yeah, look forward to seeing you all sometime soon. Wear your masks. <laughs> yeah, one <laughs> minute.